So let's go then. So first is the left right combo. Let's go. Which is obviously punch, punch, punch. A nice quick PK. Demon Slayer. Next move. Very, very quick move. This one's going to be called Flash Punch Combo. This one's called One Two Knee. A very, very quick rapid combo. Especially when you want to obviously uh, get a quick uh, finish uh, or anything like that. Back spin kick. How about the spinning high kick? That's a very dangerous move, especially. Um, it's a very dangerous move to be fair. Corpse Frost. How about parting waves? A wave, sorry. A nice um, combo that obviously for this move, the secret, that's a secret. Uh, I'll get into that later. If you want to see tutorials for me doing uh, Jin's moveset, then go ahead. Demon Steel Pedal. Oh, I use that move a lot. Especially when you want to get back up. Oh, it's a very, very quick move to do. And obviously this game, obviously you have to, um, the characters are uh, throws beat punches in this game, which is very annoying when you want to do a throw. Anyway, 8, 9, 3, P. Very, very quick punch to the head. Trust me, guys, that'll be leaving you gasping for breath. That'll completely knock you out. It obviously didn't do that. It'll probably kill you. Knee kick. Or oh, actually, there's, there's no variation of the 8, 9, 3, P. It's called the 8, 9, 3, P knee kick. How about the back fist to the side high kick? Nicely done. Tsunami kick. Especially for that. Obviously, has a, that move is very common. Harong uses it. Jin uses it. Hey Hutch uses it. And obviously, Kazuya uses it. Let's get on with it. Twin Lancer. How about the double lift kick? Haha, <laughs> Jin. I love that kick so much. Even in traditional karate and Tekken 4, he uses that kick. High pounce. Similar to obviously Ogre's move. And obviously, King's move as well. Lining uppercut, one of my favorite moves in the game. And what if it's unblockable attacks? Yep. Bang! Trust me, guys, that will KO you in a second. Lining screw uppercut, pretty much the variation, but the stronger version of it. For this move to be done, you have to obviously hold on to the uh, uh, to the uh, left uh, key. Or the left direction button. Bang! Completely finished him. He is finished, or she is finished. Demon scissors kick, or the demon scissors. Pretty much similar to Paul's move from Tekken 4, especially. I don't know if he does it in this game, but you know, similar to that move, especially when you use it. It's really, really good to use when uh, the characters are on the floor. Roundhouse triple spin kick. Jin has, because he has that move in Tekken 4. Because he was obviously in this game, but I haven't unlocked him yet. Anyway, let's get on with it. Shoot the works. A nice, very nice, quick combo move. Four hits. Shoot the works upper. Very quick move. Three ring circle circus. Next we got the three ring circus combo. Nicely done. Two theory. During sidestep only. Similar to Jun's move pretty much. Demon Paul. Let's split kick. Similar to the move that he did earlier, but you know. Heavy body blow. Nicely done. Laser cannon. Very common move, especially in Tekken 4. He obviously has obviously another variation called the laser scraper. Uses a lot when he uses traditional karate, especially in Tekken 4. A lot of characters obviously use that move. Rising uppercut. Obviously another move that I love to uh, and obviously do so much in the game. Because he's got this move obviously because he has mission with Kodai Karate. And obviously Jin learned and learned Tekken uh, 4 and Tekken 4 he learned obviously uh, mission with Karate with traditional Karate. But you know, he has a punch instead. I don't know what it's called but you know, he uses it. Dragon Uppercut. Another variation of that Uppercut move. If you want any t t tutorials on that move there, or any of these uh, kind of moves here. But they look very very weird and really weak. Uh, trust me guys, it took me a long time to do it. Dragon Uppercut to the middle kick. Another variation of Dragon Uppercut with a nice kick. So if, you've if your opponent's obviously blocked the first Uppercut, you can obviously catch him with the kick. So another variation of that move. Yep. Obviously another spin kick. Spinning Demon. 
A nice move, obviously, when the character is obviously a nice quick move when the character is on the floor. You can obviously catch him, or a nice move to view when obviously you're about to KO the character. Uppercut. A very simple punch, but you know, you don't want to be caught by that, trust me. A nice twin pistons. Tsunami kick. This variation is obviously done when you're obviously ducking or rising. Force. A nice move to do when you want to block the other character's move or you want to taunt them. Omen. Um, you can't do this move, but when you're problem with Heihachi, you can obviously use the Omen to obviously to copy the other character's moves. Similar to Yoshimitsu's move, obviously in Tekken 4, and obviously these are obviously the other Omens. Pretty much the same. And obviously this move here is obviously an Omen during obviously center hit combo. Leaping Kick. Nice move to do when the other characters are far away. Supercharge. A lot of the characters have this move. I think every character has this move in the game. So used to obviously used obviously to make more damage for the other combo. And these are the 10 hit combos that obviously I don't know how to do any of these. Don't call me for any tutorials for this. This is when you want to be Jin and you want to smash the character and obviously the wrath of the character. Obviously Jin Kazama with complete immense and furious anger. Because look at this. You know how to do these moves. It takes a lot of skills obviously to know how to block them. So another Tom Taylor combo through. Now trust me Jin is a dangerous character. This is why he's the one of the strongest characters in the game. He just wants to destroy you immensely and physically and mentally. You don't want to meet this guy in the streets. If you do, he's going to completely own you. He's going to completely destroy you. He'll kill you and you end up dead. Alright, this is a 10 hit combo. This is the last two 10 hit combos he has. And I'll see the next one's my favourite, especially the rising up at the end. Jin Kazuya, I don't know if Jun's got this move, I don't think so, but I heard she's got this move too. That's one of my favourite combos as well. Now, we're going to do his throws now. This is obviously approaching the enemy. Jin Kazuya has this move as well. They, they share the same style. Japanese Karate, obviously Karate comes from Japan, so. A nice shoulder throw. My friends used to do this back in junior school, and we used to all do it, and we used to all get hurt. But you know, you know what wrestling says, don't try this at home. Otherwise, you'll be dead. Nicely done, shoulder flip. Done on the left side of the character. This move I love to do, especially when I dodge the obviously side set the other characters and obviously catch them from behind. This is called the chicken butcher. It's like chicken wing, and also a classic move from te uh, from wrestling called the chicken wing when you get them from behind and break their arm, and reverse their arm sideways. This is called the reverse throw. When you want to catch your characters from surprise. Completely own them. This is called the Stonehead, a complete headbutt. Mine's with Samojo and obviously Christopher Daniels and that. With Samojo, a headbutt, not headbutt of a cut angle. Ultimate tackle. Where you want to completely just punch the character and just mount on him. Except if this is UFC and you just want to go bang, 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 bang. Ultimate punches. The shoulder tackle. Ultimate shoulder tackle. Just like I said, mount the character. Ultimate tackle across the arm lock. Ultimate punch to cross arm lock. You want to just break you and just do an arm bar to the character or, or something like that. Or you obviously reverse uh, or complicated uh, wire. Complete, uh, it's kind of similar to the shoulder throw from uh, from Paul Phoenix. Wrist clutch uh, slam. And obviously guys, that's it there. The reverse throw, obviously that's a cup parry. So obviously guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye. More of this move less. Bye.